Uh, hello and welcome to my study. Yesterday, Ash had us in uh, John chapter 6, verses uh, 22 and 23, uh, just noting that uh, the crowd witnessed that Jesus must have got across the, 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 the lake in, in, in a way that uh, what wasn't kind of the common way of getting across. He hadn't got in a boat uh, and he, he must have got across there by, by walking over it or, or, or something. Uh, we, we know that he walked. Uh, the, the crowd had the circumstantial evidence. They, they rush around there the next day and they find Jesus in Capernaum and they ask him a question. Now, here's a question for you. When you caught up with Jesus on that day, what would you have wanted to ask him? Press pause and think about that. I think, I don't know about you, I think I'd want to ask him, well, Jesus, how on earth did you get here? How did you do that? But look with me at uh, verse 25. What they say is, well, uh, what they say is this, Rabbi, how did you, uh, when, when did you get here, rather? When did you get here? That they know he's got there. They know he's got there in a, in, in a strange way. They don't ask him, how did you get here? They ask, when did you get here? Why, why are they interested in why, uh, in, in the time Jesus got there rather than in, in the method? Well, I think Jesus' answer in the next verse gives us a, a good, a good uh, steer on that. Verse 25, uh, 26 rather. Jesus answered, very truly, I tell you, you are, uh, you're not, uh, you are looking for me not because ye saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and got your fill. So they're not really that interested in how Jesus got there, are they? They want to know where breakfast is. That's what they want. Jesus has given them their, 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 their tea. They've had some bread cakes and some fish between them. They now want their breakfast. So they want to know when Jesus got to the other side, because have they missed breakfast? Did, 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 did they somehow miss him giving that to him or, or was he giving it to the people in Capernaum? They, they, they want their fill again. They want their food. Jesus goes on verse 27. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give ye. For on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. I will think about more what, what that precisely means in the coming days. But just to note that uh, for the moment that the people are after the gifts that Jesus gives ahead of Jesus himself, aren't they? They want the stuff, not the son of God. It's pulled me up actually thinking about that. How often do I want the gifts that Jesus gives before Jesus himself? It's easy to slip into that, isn't it? It's easy to, uh, to, to be super grateful for the things that Jesus has given because we like them. And it's good to be grateful for things that Jesus has given us. Don't, don't get me wrong on that. But really, shouldn't we be grateful because of who Jesus is? And shouldn't that drive us more to think about who Jesus is, what he's done for us and to praise him and, and to take our eyes off the signs, off the gifts and to look to the giver. It's pulled me up on that today. Just thinking that through. I wonder if it has for you as well. Maybe it hasn't, but maybe this is something just to log in your mind for those times when, and they'll come, when, when you forget about Jesus, because you're more concerned about what he's given you. A bit like this crowd. So let's, uh, let, let, let's pray, shall we? And, and ask Jesus to, uh, to, to fill our minds, fill our hearts with himself. Because of the good things he gives us. That those good gifts, all of the good things he's given us in life, point us back to the giver himself. And that we would praise him. And that we would revel in knowing the giver. Let me pray. 
Oh Lord Jesus, we, we praise you for your kindness to us. We praise you for your goodness to us. We praise you that you always give us what we need. But we also confess that so often we're so taken up with the good things you give us that we forget about you. So Lord, would you, would you refocus our minds on you? Would you be the centre of our thoughts? Would you fill our hearts? And when, when, we, when you give us good things, please would we praise you for them because of who you are, the generous Lord Jesus. He, you, you gave up your riches and became poor that we might become spiritually rich. Please fill our hearts with that. And we pray this for your glory and for our good. Amen. See you soon.